All right, so the next skill we're going over is, or the next dive we're going over is the reverse dive tuck. And ultimately the skills that are involved in it are not even gonna be talked about here because again, this dive, I wanna get it into your mind that certain dives should be performed kind of like other dives ultimately in terms of what you're thinking and how you execute it. And this dive, reverse dive flip or reverse somersault tuck should be ultimately performed just like the back somersault tuck in terms of really just jumping up straight in the takeoff with a slight C shape in the body by reaching the arms back and getting the hips a little bit in front, really squeezing, making sure everything's tight, and then just initiating the tuck and then coming out clean. Okay, the reverse dive or the reverse somersault tuck is a really simple dive, uh, especially it's more common, easily learned by most kids that I've noticed. So again, this is not something that I would worry too much about, but if you can not score at least a seven or eight on this, you've got to go over some of the other skills that we went over in the previous videos, just being able to balance get yourself into the air and then get into the tuck properly. Uh, what I would remember when going through this dive is remember the most important steps is the takeoff, the flight and the entry. I like to tell divers that if you can jump up, do the position and enter the water straight, you're gonna be one of the best divers in the world. And it's very simple, right? you know, we can very much overcomplicate things and sometimes it's necessary, but just going back to the foundational principles as you walk up that board, reminding yourself, okay, when I take off, I'm gonna do my approach, I'm gonna reach up, I'm gonna get the takeoff, tuck, and straight. And just practicing the skills and then remembering the skills. So when you get to the end of the board, you remember, I'm gonna extend up, right? Naturally happens. There's a little bit of hips in front, a little bit of arms back to give you a little bit more rotation to push you up and out a little bit. Uh, up, tuck, and then executing the entry. Again, go back to the back somersault skills, practice those until you're getting the skills or at least a seven or higher on all of your dives. Then you can move on to some other skills. Um, now we're gonna move on to the next dive.